All right, welcome everyone to uh, to our brand new Sign Shop plugin tutorial. Uh, this is Baz Monkey from awnw.net. Uh, we decided to remake this video because the old Sign Shop tutorial video was made by somebody else and it was a little outdated. And this one's going to be a lot better, uh, much more detailed. So I went ahead and designed this video to be more based on how we do sign shops at the marketplaces in our world because uh, a lot of them are more on public form so uh, which means you just place a sign in someone else's shop and then you keep the stuff stored in your own place uh, that place being right here behind me so first let's uh, get started we're gonna learn how to set up buy and sell signs and then different ways of doing it I uh, will start off with the basics though now in this case we want to sell one diamond for fifty dollars uh, quite a, a common item that people want to sell and they usually want to sell them in just quantities of one so let's set up our sign so you're gonna place down your sign you're gonna type in brackets the word buy on the first line uh, it has to be exactly that way it can't be any different so B-U-Y inside of brackets. Second and third line, um, usually you just want to put in a description. Uh, there is no format for the second and third line. They can actually be blank if you wanted to, but it's just common courtesy to fill out uh, either your name and what you're selling. So in this case, it's going to be one diamond for $50. And then the bottom line will have your price. Now this has to be on the fourth line. It has to be just numbers, no symbols, no dollar signs, no gold, anything like that, just the amount that you want to sell it for. In this case, it'll be five zero for 50. So now we want to head back to our home and we want to load up our chest with the item that we want to sell. In this case, we're only selling one diamond at a time. So you want to put in only one diamond. That way, when we link these signs and chests together, it's only going to sell one diamond for $50. If I put in all 10, and then link these two together, it will sell 10 diamonds for $50, which we don't want to do. So only put the one. Now, uh, to link these signs and chests together, you use redstone dust. You only need one piece of dust, which is very common to get, very easy to get. And you're going to hold it in your hand, and then you're going to punch the chest first. That will store the location of that sign shop chest. In this case, it stored this chest with one diamond. Uh, facing east. <laughs> I don't know why it has to tell me it's facing east, but that's good information, I guess. Now you're going to go back to your market. You're going to find your sign that you typed out, and you're going to punch it with the redstone, as just like you did the chest. And boom, you're done. That's how easy it was. We have now set up a sign. You can see the, it lit up blue, which means it's in stock and it's active. Uh, you can even left-click it. It'll even tell you, uh, confirm with you, buy one diamond for $50. Uh, if that quantity and that price is what you wanted to sell it for, then you're done. That's it. Now you can actually go back inside and you can load up that chest with as much diamond as you want. If you have hundreds and hundreds of diamond, you can go ahead and put them all in there. So that way now when somebody rolls by and they want to buy your diamonds, they can come up and they can uh, they can right click it and then boop, they'll get one diamond and they'll have given you $50. In this case, I'm just giving myself $50, which is uh, kind of funny. So uh, we can keep buying it. And once you've bought it all out and somebody buys you out, you're going to see the sign turns red. That means it's completely out of stock and uh, they're probably going to be very sad. And they're going to want you to restock. So you just keep your boxes full and this will always stay uh, blue. And that's pretty much it. We can go put these diamonds back in there to keep that nice and lit. Um, but let's, uh, let's do a different item. Let's say we want to sell a lot of obsidian uh, for $100 a stack. So let's go ahead and go to our obsidian portion of the market here, put up a sign. Same first line, buy in brackets. And we'll say 64 obsidian. Now uh, some formats people like to do is they like to put their name on the sign so people know who is actually selling it. So they'll put the quantity, then their name, and then they'll put the price at the bottom, 100. Because uh, that price is always definite at 100. So this way people can still read the sign just like they did this one. Uh, but now, now they know who's selling it. So maybe they want uh, maybe they want a lot more than what you're selling, or maybe they want a little bulk discount. Uh, maybe they can contact you directly. It's a, kind of a nice thing to do. So now we're going to go back inside, and we're going to load up our chests. So I already have some in here. Let's take this out. Now you want to make sure to put in just the quantity you want to sell. So we're only selling one stack at a time. So only have one stack in there. Get your redstone. You're going to punch the chest. Now in this case, we want to sell a lot of redstone, more than what a double chest can hold. So we're actually going to store this chest, which has nothing in it, as well. 
Now you can technically link up as many chests as you want that are empty, but make sure that when you link up multiple chests, only one has the proper quantity in it. The rest of them need to be empty. If you put other items in those chests and link them up, it's going to start selling multiple things and things will get really crazy. So uh, now we're going to come up to the sign and punch it. And now we've just linked both of those chests to sell obsidian for 64 for $100. So now we can come in here and we can load up this one. I didn't, don't have enough to carry on here, but let's say that filled that chest up. And we can fill this one up. We can put all of this in here. There we go. So now we've got, say, two double chests full of obsidian. So now somebody could go buy and they could start buying obsidian. That way you have more quantity for sale and you don't have to worry about, you know, maybe, maybe you plan on being logged out for a couple days and you want to make sure you have plenty to, uh, to have for sale. So now somebody could roll up and start buying lots of obsidian. Just lots of it. You'll see it's filling my inventory back up here. Oops. Now, Sign Shop has a little bug, and this is a, a good way to show it. If you right-click a sign to buy stuff and your hand is full, uh, it doesn't work too well because it's trying to place the item like that. So always try and punch stuff with an empty hand. It makes things a little easier because uh, of that bug. It's a very strange bug. You could also stand further away and do it. You could do it like that. It gets kind of weird. So there we go. We're completely sold out. We've bought all that all that obsidian, and you can keep restocking those boxes. And it's just as simple as that. So now we'll put this obsidian all, actually we'll keep the obsidian out of the boxes. So now let's uh, let's learn how to do a sell sign. Uh, very simple. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and first unlink our old signs. Now you do that just by breaking the sign. That will automatically break any chest linked to that sign. So we're gonna break that sign as well. So let's say uh, we actually want to buy diamonds, uh, but we want to buy them for fairly cheap. Well, you're going to want to put up a sign, and you're going to put up sell in brackets. Now let's say um, we're going to want to let's say we're going to want to buy one diamond at a time for only ten dollars. So we'll put one diamond for ten dollars, and then ten at the bottom. So same format as the buy sign, just uh, you just want to uh, put sell at the top. So now we'll go inside find our chest. Same thing, you're going to open it up and you're only going to put in just that one quantity. In this case it's just one diamond. Take your redstone dust, punch it, go back outside, do the same thing as before. You're going to punch the sell sign. There we go. So now we put up a bounty, you can see in chat it confirms it, of ten dollars for one diamond. So I've got nine diamonds on me right now, which means I can come up to the sign and right click it and I could sell diamonds to this person for $10 a pop. Now you have to be careful with sell signs. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money in your bank account and somebody has a lot of diamonds, they could they could uh, bankrupt you pretty quickly. But, you know, if you're willing to spend your money on it, then then there's no problem. And then we'll, you'll see that these items, for the person that we just sold them to, they get deposited right back into the box there. So it's very simple, very easy to use. These chests and signs can be as far away as you want. They don't have to be near the signs. There's no maximum distance. Uh, it's completely unlimited, so it's very easy to use. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing that I can teach you here is also very nifty. Uh, a lot of people ask this question, but you can actually set up more than one sign. Let's say you had two markets that you want to sell diamonds at. Very simple. Uh, we'll put up our signs first. So let's say we want to put up uh, buy signs here. One diamond for fifty dollars, fifty, and then buy. Oops. Actually, we want to do one at a time. So I'm going to break this first. Yeah, let's go do this one first. Oh man, it's raining. That's terrible. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, set up just like we did before. We're going to put the one in there. There we go. Take our redstone. Oops, left click it. <laughs> you never want to right click your chest, so we'll just open it. There we go. And we'll go link this sign. Ding, there we go. So we've linked our first sign shop sign. Now, say we want to sell uh, diamonds, uh, sell our, our same stock of diamonds, but at a different market, you know. Widen your market and uh, sell more sell more items. I'm going to put out the exact same sign. Uh, whoops, one diamond. I don't need to spell here, that's okay. For $50. Run back inside.
Now make sure it still has that quantity. And now if you already if you already have a lot of diamond in here from selling from a different sign, just pull it all out and put in just that one, and then punch it. You never want to accidentally uh, mix up your quantities. That can uh, that can be bad. And then link it up. So now we've got that one chest is linked to both of these signs. So both of these signs will sell diamond out of that chest for fifty bucks a pop. So you can load up that chest, and now you've got uh, two different sign ship signs. You can actually link up uh, as many as you want. You can have market after market after market, and have them all linked to that one sign. Makes it uh, very easy. So. That's pretty much it. That's the sign shop. That's the tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment below or you can just go on our website and ask me at awnw.net. It's all very simple. Uh, if you think it's too simple, then you probably just aren't realizing that it is really simple. So uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, just ask. Otherwise, have fun and